In 1925, Helen Keller spoke to Lions Clubs International and challenged them to become Knights of the Blind in the Crusade Against Darkness. More than 80 years later, her words still inspire the members of the Minnesota Lions Vision Foundation and the organization they started, the Minnesota Lions Eye Bank at the University of Minnesota. Together, their mission is vision. Working with cornea surgeons and researchers, the Minnesota Lions Eye Bank helps restore vision through eye donations for cornea and eye tissue transplants, research, and medical education. Developments and breakthrough innovations in corneal tissue preparation and surgeries make this a critical time of advancement in eye banking and corneal transplantation. Eye banks are the link among eye donations, surgeons, and researchers. Eye banks recover, prepare, and provide corneas for transplant, and provide eye tissue for research leading to treatments and cures. As a result, lives are transformed. Eye bank innovations are absolutely transforming lives. There are new techniques that have uh, been used just in the last few years that are allowing more people to be uh, recipients of new types of cornea transplants. They have lower risks and uh, potentially better visual outcomes. Lions Clubs International is the largest service organization in the world with members in more than 200 countries. In 1959, a Minnesota Lion Club member, George Dugan, noted people in need of corneal transplants had to travel to other states for surgery. Lion George approached the Department of Ophthalmology at the University of Minnesota, and a year later, in 1960, the Minnesota Lions Eye Bank opened. Corneal transplantation used to be similar to current-day organ transplantation, as a donor cornea would have to be transplanted within a few hours of the donor's death. But in 1972, the Minnesota Lions Eye Bank helped develop a preservation solution, now used throughout the world, which preserves a donated cornea for up to two weeks. This allows corneal transplants to be performed as scheduled surgeries. Eye tissue is recovered by trained technicians and then prepared at an eye bank and delivered for surgery. It's important to preserve corneal tissue because in the past that was not available and patients had to be available 24 hours a day, maybe called in the middle of the night for a corneal transplant and the tissue could not be stored at all. It had to be used fresh. Now, because of corneal preservation, the tissue basically can be stored and the patients can schedule their corneal transplantation or the tissue can be sent to other places around the United States which require tissue. Since it opened, the Minnesota Lions Eye Bank has provided more than 25,000 corneas for transplant and 22,000 eyes for research and medical education. Its focus is in three major areas, medically evaluating and distributing donor eye tissue for corneal transplants, educating the public, especially to raise awareness of the need for and benefits of eye donation, and research and advancement of the science and technology in treating eye diseases and injuries. By providing donor eye tissue, the Minnesota Lions Eye Bank helps professionals learn more about eye conditions, including macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, and glaucoma. The Eye Bank's recovery technicians are available 24-7 every day to go to hospitals and other locations to recover donor eye tissue. The Eye Bank is accredited by the Eye Bank Association of America that sets medical, accreditation, and certification standards for eye donation. The Minnesota Lions Eye Bank and organ and tissue organizations work together to provide education about donation as well as support decisions of individuals who have legally documented their personal choice to be donors. Can you tell me, was there any blood loss at the time of death? What's typically transplanted is the corneas. Did this uh, donor have any eye history, such as um, glaucoma? It would take about uh, 45 minutes or an hour or so once the, once the procurement tech gets to the facility. We'll contact the family. We'll get some information from them and see what their um, idea is about donation. A decision to be a donor may be listed on a driver's license or state ID card, in a health care directive, or an online donation registry. I know that um, you said your mom was really proud to be a donor. 
she would be so very proud of you and all that you've given um, of yourself and in her name for um, the iBank and its mission. This was a good gift. It was valuable. It's important to let family members know of your desire to be an eye donor. They'll be reassured that they're carrying out your wishes and also they'll be able to provide the medical information necessary for donation. Scientific knowledge is rapidly evolving, improving access to corneal transplants. Yet, many countries find economic, cultural, and governmental challenges impact the opportunity for transplants. Healthcare reform may change the way eye banks meet the needs of surgeons and researchers. The Minnesota Lions Eye Bank is a leader in unifying the eye banking community through its International Journal of Eye Banking, an open access, peer reviewed online journal created to advance eye banking worldwide by sharing best practices and innovations with eye banks surgeons, researchers, and others engaged in restoring sight. Almost anyone can be an eye donor. Poor vision, most cancers or medical conditions may not prevent someone from donating, providing tissue for corneal transplant surgery, or research that could benefit thousands across the world. I was a college graduate as an uh, engineering technician, and it was becoming harder and harder to try to read uh, the specs that I was designing to and to see the plans that I was drawing on, I saw shadows. I started out with very good vision as a child and as a teenager and as a young adult and then I, I entered a period of time where over about three or four years every time I went in for a checkup my vision was getting worse. I've always been an outgoing person, a type A personality and I found myself not wanting to go anywhere, not to socialize with friends. I think the hardest part was I was afraid that I would lose my vision in the other eye and would be blind totally. After the transplant and now with restored vision, my life is so greatly enhanced. I think about now even more what I couldn't do and what I can do now. I looked out the windows of, the, of my hospital room and I could see trees with leaves. And I don't remember the last time I could remember seeing leaves in, in the wind. The challenge facing the Minnesota Lions Eye Bank is to advance research and innovation and to unite eye banks throughout the world. We have increased regulation uh, for eye banks. We have new, fast innovations that are coming. And then, of course, we have healthcare reform just around the corner. And we don't quite know what that means. So eye banks are going to have to stay connected, um, hear and learn about new information that they're going to have to understand quickly, and adapt their business practices and build relationships in order to be successful. Sight is one of our most cherished senses. And improving or restoring someone's sight is nothing short of miraculous. It can empower an individual to embrace life once again. When I think about the gift that I've received, it, it touches me um, greatly. I, I, I want to thank that family. In fact, I do thank that family and donor every day as I'm driving, as I'm seeing bright colors. I'm so thankful and grateful that somebody had to make the decision to have their loved one be an eye donor because if they had not been a donor, I would not have had the gift of, a, of someone's cornea. The Minnesota Lions Eye Bank is at the forefront of the crusade to help people see again. By providing cornea and other eye tissue for transplant, research, and education, they are changing lives on a daily basis. What they are achieving every day is clearly visionary. More than 40,000 people in the United States need a corneal transplant each year. To learn more about the Minnesota Lions Eye Bank or how to become a donor, go to www.mnlionseyebank.org.